we would like to welcome you to the first communication chiefs meeting of the fall 2019 semester. Some of you are returners, and I'm so excited to see you back in our classroom. And some of you are new students, some of you are having class, and some of you have just um, stumbled over here to be a part of this extracurricular club. This is kind of what we do. We usually eat something, which is always a must, especially over the lunch hour. And most importantly, we try to hear from a career professional, such as Ms. White, beside me. I was a communication major in college. I took kind of an unconventional route to the classroom. Uh, I was a PR major, communication with a PR emphasis, actually, public relations. And I'm so thankful for that background because I use that degree absolutely every day. For those of you who don't know, I teach um, public speaking here at the college and theater from time to time. Um, but if it were not for that background in communication from Mississippi State, I truly would not be um, the communicator that I am in the classroom. So um, I love the major. I love getting to expose students to that. You don't have to be a communication major to be a part of communication chiefs. You can be a biochemistry major, a nursing major. It doesn't matter. It's just a good way to get out and meet some people um, instead of just sitting in your dorm with your takeout from the cafeteria. We do try to go to campuses. So if you are an undecided major, it's a good club to be a part of. Last year we went to Ole Miss. The year before we went to Mississippi State. Bez is trying to get me back to Mississippi State this semester. So we're working on that. Um, and I'll be glad to give you some information about that afterwards. But right now, I'm going to turn the floor over to one of my former students. You really start to feel old when your former <laughs> students start to come back um, to work at ICC. I remember when Brandy was in my class. And when she came in one day and she said, guess what? I finally have decided um, my major. But you told me the, the other day that you actually were a speech pathology major. Or a little while. Not communication. Yes. But I remember us talking about communication. Mm -hmm. And she's going to tell you a little bit about that road that she traveled when she was a student here at ICC. Um, I'm going to just let you take it. So, all right. Thank okay. you. Well, thank you all so much for coming. I'm so excited to meet each and every one of you. And just to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, if at any time here while I'm talking you have a question, I want this to be as beneficial for you as possible and that's the whole point of this. So stop me, ask any questions that you may have. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I am the Administrative Assistant to the President here at ICC, uh, Dr. Jay Allen. If you have not met him, I encourage you to do that. He is awesome and he loves to meet students and he is a joy to work for, he really is. And so I've been in this position about seven weeks, I guess, not very long since the beginning of July. So um, right now in the office of the president, it is myself and Tyler Camp, and we are actually both communication major products. So we both came to ICC, and then we went on to Mississippi State and got communication degrees there. So. The right and the left hands of Dr. Allen are both communication <laughs> students. And Tyler and I both play very different roles um, in supporting Dr. Allen in the office and um, across the board at ICC. And so um, one thing I love the most about the communication major is it's so broad. You know, you can really just do anything. And um, so when I was choosing communication, I came to ICC. So I'm from Smithville, Mississippi, and <laughs> are you from Smithville? No way! So small world, and so I thought you could either be a doctor or a lawyer, and so I made a 32 on my first chemistry test. So I was like, okay, not for me. So choosing communication and public relations was more of, I guess, deciding what I'm not good at before I really decided what I was good at, and so. Um, I left ICC, I was general studies, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and I remember I was I was really involved here on campus, and I was sitting in the, in the delegation office, and I was like, what do y'all think I would be good at doing, and Allison Cummings was like, I could really see you doing PR, I didn't even know what PR was then, so shout out to all of y'all that know what you want to do already, that's exciting, and if you don't know, that's exciting too, because you have nothing but opportunity to explore. So, with that in the back of my, high, my mind, I went on to the W to do speech pathology, and I hated it. I was so miserable. So, I was like, okay. 
So at the end, I was living in Starville, and I was driving to Columbus every day, and I just knew speech pathology was just not what the Lord had in mind for me. So ended up changing my major to communication with an emphasis in public relations, and my life has never been the same since, you know. And so at Mississippi State, I was, once I got into my major classes, you know, I took PR writing and news writing and I took interviewing and I took a gender communication class and I just got into all those major classes and I just thrived. And it's amazing how when you find what you're good at and you enjoy it, it's not it's not work, you know. And so I encourage all of you to find that. It's like when I go to work every day, I get out of bed and I'm like, I get to go to work at ICC every day and it's such it's nice to find your passion and get to do it every day and get paid for it. So I encourage all of you, you know, if you hear nothing else that I say, just that for sure. So I had three internships while I was in school. Um, one of them was for college credit. So I worked for the Choctaw County Chamber of Commerce. And so I just did like some press release writing for them and just um, social media and kind of so where my career took me really was on a digital marketing path so I did do a lot of um, marketing and PR falls into that and so I did um, the Chamber of Commerce and then I did I wrote blogs for it's probably not even a thing anymore it's called College Social and it's like the BuzzFeed but it was there was a Mississippi State version, there was an Ole Miss version, and so we had to write like two blogs a week. So that was, you know, writing practice for me. And in your internships, I just encourage you to make that whatever you want it to be, you know, whatever your interest is in. Um, like my, my niche was kind of social media, and so when I was on the Transfer Student Association at Mississippi State, I ran their social media and I did some graphics and stuff. So. You can really kind of incorporate whatever you're interested in into whatever you're doing. So make the most of that. Um, and internships, I would say, say yes if you think you may like it or you think you may not. Because that's part of an internship is just really figuring out what you don't like to do. So once I left Mississippi State, I worked for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. I moved there. I was a brand ambassador. I um, got to give tours of the hospital every day, and that was so much fun. That's probably been one of my favorite jobs, just to get to share that branded message and that story to uh, visitors of the hospital, and just what an amazing place that is. But I realized in that job that I love St. Jude, but I didn't have to work there to be a part of that. So I moved on to um, Intercom Radio in Memphis, which was a group of radio stations. I worked there for three years, and I was the uh, social media and marketing administrator there. And so in that job, had a lot of perks. I was at concerts every night, you know, making videos. I got to meet Garth Brooks. I got to meet Maroon 5. Pretty much any and every celebrity you can think of. Um, I was at their concert, you know, I got to go for free, and it was so much fun. I met Rick Ross, you know, just across the board, all kinds of different entertainers. And um, I never thought about being on the radio before I worked for a group of radio stations. And if I hadn't, you know, had that communication and PR background to even get that job, I would have never thought about being on the radio, which actually led to I had a segment on the radio in Seattle. And so I've met people from all over the country, you know, just doing that and I love radio and it's so much fun and so I always think about the perks of your job when you're uh, getting an internship or a job and um, I loved that job and it was hard to leave that job but then um, I came back to Tupelo and I got a job at Bangor South in the marketing department and so there I was the digital marketing specialist so um, in all of my jobs, you know, it's been social media, it's been email marketing, it's been lots of communication and a lot of different aspects. And every single one of those jobs has led me to this job that I'm in currently. And, you know, I use my communication degree every single day and um, I just love it so much. You know, I just can't say enough good things about just finding, like, what you're good at and what you enjoy and aligning that with your passion and just finding a job, you know, and 
being a product of ICC and you know I was thinking about it last night I kind of you know dealing with celebrities and I now I deal with celebrities but that's just like Dr. Allen's kind of a celebrity you know he's just you know everybody knows him and he doesn't seem like that but he is and you know now it's just like governors and senators and you know you just kind of adjust and move on but you know communication you can work literally anywhere you know like just like biochemical engineering they need PR people too and so you know nursing they need PR people and graphic designers and like communication is so broad and I really focus in on PR but it's just I love it and so you know I know a lot about Mississippi State and their communication program obviously but um, I know lots of I have lots of friends that are product of the Ole Miss um, program and uh, I have a friend that's at the University of South Carolina and you know it's just there are PR people everywhere and it's not just like PR or communication is not just working for a firm you know and just thinking outside of that like I really didn't have a good grasp like I don't really an idea of the communication world until I started working and I realized like there's so many jobs out there so you know just keep your mind open and keep an open mind and um, if you know what you want to do that's great um, if you don't I highly recommend this book it's called the proximity principle um, this book helped me land my job here so I interviewed I was one of 42 people for my job and so the difference between me and the next person was seven points and so I am so honored and blessed you know be able to work here and that they chose me and you know that they think that my skill set is a value here and my digital marketing background and my communication background is they know the direction that they want to take the office of the president to and so like right now I'm running Dr. Allen's social media platform so follow him on Twitter and Instagram and uh, but yeah that's you know they turned that over to me when I took the job because I do have that experience and so um, yeah that's kind of a little bit about me um, if I have any questions for me. When you <coughs> When you were at the W, so you transferred to state. Why did you transfer to state instead of just staying at the W and getting a communications degree there? Well, I knew, so I'm a Mississippi State fan at heart. So I knew I'd always wanted to go to Mississippi State, and when they off, they don't offer speech pathology there, so I went to the W, and I was living in Starkville. And I guess schools are kind of like majors, you know, you find your fit there too, and so. Mississippi State, just like I see City, felt like home, you know, like I never, I never really felt at home at the W, not knocking their program or anything, they have an amazing school. And so I just knew that when I was at Mississippi State and getting involved on campus and, you know, doing all the different things there that it was just the right fit for me, so. With that major, do you think you could be able to balance a sport and that major? Oh, absolutely. Um, I could not have but I'm not that <laughs> I'm not that person and so I like you know I balanced a lot of social and I did I had a part-time job you know I worked at Harvey's in Starkville and I had an internship I always had an internship on top of that and so I was very busy and I had a very active social life too so you know I was um, part of the SA at um, as you say which is the SGA there and uh, they had a transfer student association and so you know we were just starting that and so getting that off the ground but absolutely I but being in the communication major it wasn't work for me like college algebra was work for me <laughs> and that's not what I enjoyed I'm not a math person like I'm a communicator and so that's one thing I'll say just stick it out for those classes that you really may not enjoy that much like yeah. honestly speech was my favorite class when I came here and I knew and just like look at what your favorite classes are too you know and ask people too because sometimes people know you better than you know yourself and so just be like hey what am I going to do I think a lot of times you don't you don't have the perspective that you have when you get out of school that you think school is always going to be like it is right now yeah but you have to get through all the things that you hate 
to get to the things that you love. Because eventually, like all those classes she was mentioning earlier, you know, whether you are a chem, you know, biochem major or a public relations emphasis comm major, your day is spent in the classes that you love. You know, it's, it's spent in art. It is spent in, you know, copy and layout. And, or if you gravitate more to um, a communication study side, you're, you know, you spend your day in theory classes. And every, I mean, there's still going to be a grunt class in every major that, you know, is not your passion. But for the most part, when you get to that university, you've gotten through the basics and you're in everything that just really is your passion. Yeah, it's just and if it's not, you'll know it. Mm -hmm. Like when she was in speech past and she's like, oh, I hate it. And, and there's nothing wrong with changing that or sticking through as long as you have to and then making the change. If it adds a semester to your life, then it adds a semester to your life. But don't just keep going through something and then be miserable in that career because I've, you know, and I'll life's say too short for that. It really is. And I did have to do an extra year because I changed my major, which is fine. You know, like, I'm so happy and I'm just living my best life right now. You know, it just, it's, like I said, it's just so nice to come to work every day and just love what you do and love the calls and know that, you know, this is my purpose. And also, like, I have had, so I did not enjoy Bank Work South as much, you know, but I also realized sitting at a desk in that office not talking to anyone every day, that's not what I enjoy. That is not, that's not what I want to do. And so um, the timing was just right to make the move.